Hey you guys, so I am here today in this video to show you how I'm going to be taking down this protective style I've had in now going on three weeks and we're gonna be properly cleansing my hair. So I blew up my hair, God it's been so long. I blew up my hair actually a month ago and whenever, whenever I blow out my hair, I'm like okay, I spent all this time blowing out my hair, I'm not just gonna leave it as this, I need to do something with it. So um, nine times out of 10, I do decide to put my hair in some type of protective style this go around I wanted to do um, semi mini twists or small to medium sized twists and they have held up fairly good very very cute now I will be recreating this style early summer I'm thinking so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into what I'm gonna be doing because it's a lot so my uh, regimen y'all is very simple but there are there are a lot of steps I typically start my wash day the day before I wash my hair when it comes to the pre-treatment or pre pulling my hair so for the purpose of this video, we'll try to do as much as possible, but it's gonna be fairly long for a warning, for a warning. Anyway, when it comes to protective styling for me, girl, excuse the background, I homeschool and my child is home. Um, I am a big low maintenance styler. I rarely style my hair. Those of you who don't know, girl, now you know. I believe in protective styling. I believe in low manipulation. And so I will set my hair in twists and leave it alone all week until it's time for me to wash my hair. Guys, I use these beads I purchased through Amazon. And like I said, there will be a formal review on my channel. So the first thing I will need to do, of course, is to take down all of my, or unravel my hair. I need to make sure that I actually section my hair off to do that. Um, I will be using coconut oil to help with that and also lightly misting my hair in certain areas. Now, as far as the pre-poo, I get that a lot of people don't pre-poo. I always pre-poo. It just makes the cleansing process quicker. I also like to use that time to also detangle my hair. Now I detangle my hair several times doing the um, wash day process, I guess you should say. So I'm gonna be using African Pride's Moisture Miracle pre-shampoo to detangle my hair or pre-poo. Now girl, I was in my feelings when um, Busby said she didn't like this product. Girl, I almost sent you a, a message. I'm like, why? What's the problem, sis? <laughs> but I get it, not everyone likes this. And again, this is the pre-shampoo by African Pride. And not everyone likes it, but hey, it works for me and so I'm gonna use it. Okay, now as far as cleansing my hair, it's gonna be a two-step process. I'm gonna be using Jane Carter's Hydrating Invigorating Shampoo. A little bit of this. But I'm also going to be doing a clay wash. Now this is um, betonite clay, and I'm gonna be adding some oils and a little bit of honey to this, okay? <sighs> Bear with me, y'all. Now, as far as conditioning my hair, I'm gonna be using Suave's coconut conditioner, but then I'm also gonna be deep conditioning my hair. I have the Dabor Vatica, or Dabor Vatica, I believe it's pronounced Vatica. I have their deep conditioning hair mask, black seed oil. I'm gonna be mixing this along with two packages of the ORS Olive Oil Replenishing Conditioner. Now y'all, even though I will be using this particular product in this video, it will be a separate review, okay? It will have its own little thing. I am so done, y'all, fit to be tied because I already had that review ready. I've already used this and the, um, I don't know what happened. The content was corrupted when I tried to upload it. Anyway, either I will be using a cream base leave-in. I think I'm gonna um, try to get Eden Bodies Works. I have it here somewhere. Along with Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In. And then sealing in with a hair oil. Now I know that seems like a lot, but I have not really done anything to my hair in three weeks. So well overdue. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, going in first with the coconut oil. Now, I kind of wish I hadn't used as much of the coconut oil because it was really hard to take down or uh, remove the rubber bands at the ends of my hair. So just taking my time to remove the hair, the hair jewelry itself. Um, now, you guys, one thing about me is even though I have a lot of hair, I treat my hair as if my hair is very, very fine. Um, I try to be very gentle, and please believe me, I've never, I haven't always been this way, but for the past, I would say about six or seven years, honey, I treat my hair like it's gonna fall out any second. So that's me removing the beads. Now, I got tons of, of compliments on this particular 
um, hairstyle. So I will be doing a official uh, tutorial on this. So anyway, y'all, just taking my time, like I said, to remove the hair jewelry and the beads itself. guys so I have taken down all of my twists and it's actually a couple of well, except this one or two it's actually a couple of days later I decided to wear my hair in a super defined twist out and yeah I have a, like one or two still left that I need to unravel but that's okay so now what I'm gonna do is start in with detangling my hair you can see how full my hair looks right now and so I'm gonna go ahead and lightly mist my hair with water section it off and again, we're going to be using the African Pride product, excuse me, African Pride product to help detangle and pre pull my hair. I'm not going to solely finger finger detangle here I'm going to be using you'll see me use the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush now you guys I have several detangling videos um, using all types of tools that I will also be linking in the cards so make sure you check that out so yeah here is the Felicia Leatherwood brush love this brush you guys I'm going to use this to help detangle my hair So I'm just going to do a couple of sections here on cam and next up you're going to see me applying the betonite clay to my hair. So here is the mask. Now my hair is wet but you will see me use the uh, mister to apply more water to my hair because when you apply the mud wash you want to ensure that your hair, your hair is wet. Now I do have a separate video on this process that I will be linking in the cards. Um, just a heads up you guys, you won't be seeing everything. This is not a wash day video, I hope you know that by now. Again, applying the mud wash to my hair and I actually allow this to sit on my hair you guys for about 15 minutes. You do not want your hair to dry with this uh, particular product on. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Dabor Batika deep conditioner. Now this is my second time using this particular product and uh, yeah, I still have some conditioner left in my hair if you see any white. Oh, I just used a clay mask, mask and then I used a cheap conditioner, suave conditioner. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply the mask. I did add one tablespoon of olive oil. This is the first time, well technically it's the second time I've used this product, but this is the first time I've used a dark product like this. So it's really, you can't see it if you're applying it to dark hair, which is so odd. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to apply this you guys. And I'm gonna get off my tippy toes. I'm, I'm short by the way, yeah, we know this right.
him out of the shower and now the last few steps i like to spray the apogee carotene and green tea reconstructor all over my hair and she will spray and so i'm gonna do this off cam because i can't really <laughs> but at this point I would then add my leave-in conditioner this time I will be using the Eden Body Works natural curl defining cream as a leave-in like that zoom in some this is technically not a leave-in conditioner but I'm gonna use it as such and then I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of the Camille Rose honey hydrate this is a sticky type of product but I'm just gonna go in a little bit with that and that is it you guys my hair feels really really good I feel like my hair has grown like girl bundles it feels great it feels he healthy um and yeah I'm gonna section my hair off apply my leave-in so and that is it I won't do anything with my hair for another week or so so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching take care bye